good morning guys welcome to I'm just outside of st. Louis Missouri actually on the other side of the river here in East Alton Illinois back to one of my favorite spots here at modified auto and sound my buddy Sean owns this shop and it is project day today but I'm here also to relax and hang out with some friends as well but I do have some projects again of course if you're in the st. Louis area and you need some window tinting remote starts uh, they do stereos and alarms I have some work planned in a couple days for them to do some new installs but like I said project day there are at least three big things I'm doing on the RV today I'm happy to report that the uh, paint is held up really well no paint chips yet although I'm gonna clean this surface because this is the bug deflector I got it was on Amazon for I think $62 it's an acrylic black uh, scratch resistant cover. There is some drilling, but it also has adhesive tape. And so I don't know if I can do this one handed, but essentially it's gonna go underneath the hood and it's going, see Jack's up there. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing, dad? Well, I'm gonna protect this hood now that I've got it fixed. Uh, so that's one project. And this is the other project not being paid by King TV to promote this or anything, but the same company that makes those uh, satellite uh, no, antennas for the roof and stuff like that. I think they do make satellite TVs and stuff. But this is awesome. This is the RV Media. It's an LED outdoor light and marine Bluetooth speaker. You see the two speakers in there? They're gonna be waterproof. So Aja from Pandemonium, I think, was talking earlier this month about uh, her light no longer working on the RV. Well, I have the same light and mine lasted about six months and then stopped working for the motion sensor. The light still works and everything, but the motion sensor doesn't work. And this is just so cool because I'll be able to sit outside and anybody can use their phone and we can just listen to music at the campground right on the side of the RV, not have to worry about rain or anything. Plus down here, the LED lights will light up the bottom porch part plus also has like changing lights that you can change with an app and stuff like that. But super, super easy. This is just as easy to install as that one up there. There's two wires, red and black. And then it's gonna have the light. So when you turn the switch on on the inside, it'll light it up and then you can connect your Bluetooth speakers and it'll play through the speakers without any amp or anything else. You just swap it out for the existing light. And yes, this will work for whatever existing light you have outside your RV or trailer, as long as there's two wires. It's, that's literally that easy and um, it'll also cover up the existing area because this one's going to be wider and bigger so I think it's just going to be a really clean look once I get done. Those are my projects. First of all I want to wipe all the water off the hood, get this surface all cleaned and prepped and get it ready for the bug shield and then I'll show you what that looks like and what it entails. There's what it looks like. It comes with some uh, self-adhesive tape right there and then there's two spots that you need to do like a self tapping screw into the hood, but it has a center point there that I'm gonna aim for right there. There we go, it's just stuck on right now. But I mean, it's it's almost a factory fit. I mean, it is, they, they make them for every type of vehicle. And we'll just stand back here. Look how much better that looks. And that's really gonna help with bugs and rocks and more paint chipping happening. So we have fixed the cancer. <laughs> I'm gonna opt out of the plastic ones that come with it. I've got, uh, I think half inch self tapping screws. I'm gonna get my drill, put those in. There's actually uh, two on the side. I'm gonna put four in on this one and then uh, she'll be good to go. I am going to use the uh, rubber grommets that came with the kit, but I'm gonna use the self tapping screws that I have instead. You probably don't wanna get these too tight. Otherwise you might, you might break this. 
Uh, the kit also comes with some stuff you can put on the bumper frame where those screws are going to hit, but I have enough clearance that I didn't need them. Um, yeah, I think that looks great. An easy way to improve it. Woo. Alrighty, so as you can see there, I got the old one off. Yeah, you can still see like the very first one, the really small square that I didn't even clean up before because the second one I bought was bigger. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to clean up the side right there uh, and then it'll cover all of that. For reference, this aftermarket one, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go with. This is sold at Camping World and I think it's like $80. Seriously, I would not go with this. Everybody I know so far has had these go out and stop working. So this is about uh, twice the size of the standard orange amber light you have out there, just for reference. And to put these two together, look at the difference. This RV Media King is much, much larger, but I mean, it's got two waterproof speakers inside of it and 45 LEDs. So, okay. So just showing you where I'm at right now. I got the speaker up on the roof, came down. Uh, I'm gonna tape these up just so they definitely don't ever come loose. And then all of this goes back in there, including this part goes back in there so this can all be flush. And yes, I still gotta clean up all this, but we're getting close now. Guys, can I first say that usually I do not have the smiling satisfaction of making something so much better so easily. I wanna show you this, I'm done with the install. Believe me, YouTube is not gonna be able to pick up the audio, but this thing bumps like crazy. I cannot believe how loud it is out here. Just playing some ACDC real quick. It is flat out loud. I'm gonna go walk over here again. It's got bass, it's got power, it is bumping over there. All right, I paused it for the moment. Just wanted to uh, share that with you, the LEDs. I'm gonna wait till it gets dark and show you what those look like. But I mean, I gotta say, I think every RV out there should probably have one of these, as easy as that install was and how, e I mean, just sitting out anywhere in the campfire, anybody can grab their phone. Let me show you this YouTube video real quick. Let me play this song real quick. They connect to it right there. You just flip on the light switch of your RV and you have waterproof speakers outside. I mean, that's, wow. I feel like King should pay me for this endorsement, but, but believe me, it's well worth it. I'll show you the package uh, one more time. That's uh, what it looks like. This is the premium model King RV Media model RVM2000, just so you know there. It's just getting dark, so I will show you what it looks like at night. But you know, sometimes I don't know anything about this technology until other people tell me about it. And actually, I was hanging out with Jason and Candace, and Jason showed me this. Some other YouTuber he was following uh, had one, and I was like, wow, that's a great idea. I mean, you don't have to drill holes into your RV and put speakers and then have a deck that's waterproof as well. And I had followed it for about six or seven days, and then all of a sudden, YouTube or not YouTube, but Amazon U, I was watching it and they're like, deal of the day, $60 off, $140. I'm like, okay, I'll go ahead and pull the trigger and install that, and I'm glad I did. But thanks, Jason. All right, it's nighttime. I just want to show you the uh, difference here. I've got... Okay, that's, that's the lowest it gets, by the way, just for reference. And I got my LED lights up top, my strip. Compared to this, you can see how much brighter those four LED bulbs are. I actually need to pause this, actually. It is bright here at night. I'm sh oh yeah, you can, you can definitely see it. And uh, oh, by the way, if you're interested in some really good metal cover music, check out Liam Moriccioli. He's from Norway. I'm half Norwegian, so I think that's pretty awesome. He has some fantastic music. And I have a playlist of, you go to my playlist, I have a playlist of all the best, I think, of Leo Moriccioli on that playlist. But uh, this speaker sounds awesome. The light is actually kind of cool with it changing colors and all that stuff. Or you can just make it blue and match the existing lights. But uh, I'm happy with that. I am so happy with that. Uh, has anybody else had a similar experience with this device? It's pretty cool. Anyways. Not even done, you're gonna get right back in the morning and do some more stuff in the RV, so I will cut back in in the morning, bye. Ooh, now I told you they do everything here at Modified Auto. So I gave them Yamalama, and we're doing a project on the bike. Yep, gonna have an official alarm put on it. It's a motorcycle alarm. All right, guess what? We are all alarmed here, guys, that's right. The one I got is the Gorilla 9000 on here that uh, Modified Auto put installed. 
Thank you, Gary, for that. Uh, we got a light on the back. You probably can't see that flashing in the daytime there, but there is a flashing LED, just an indicator that there is an alarm on this bike to let people know. Everything is installed clean underneath the uh, seat here. Comes with a remote here for locking and unlocking, so it's armed right now. We'll turn it off. It is quite loud. If we arm it again, uh, motorcycles are a little unique because not only do you want a shock sensor, but you don't want somebody to be able to cut a wire so it's got low voltage detection. It does have the shock sensor so it can alert people that, that, don't, that come by and hit it or something. As you can see, it's very loud. I'm not going to demonstrate the second feature, but it has a, a tilt mechanism so that while it's on the kickstand, if you were to simply just tilt the bike back up to a stance because you think you're going to roll it away, that will also set off the motorcycle alarm in here. And like I said, this is just a third way to secure, to secure the bike. I've got the front disc lock, I've got the chain, now I've got the good alarm so that I can keep this out in the street somewhere and not worry about it rolling away. So, good to go. Anyways, uh, my, my, my last honest plug, you gotta check out Modified Auto if you're in the St. Louis, East Alton, Illinois area uh, down here. That's all I'm gonna share with you guys. I wanna hang out with my buddies and uh, not film for a couple days. I do have some other projects, but I'm not gonna film everything. I'll give you an update uh, when I probably leave here or if I go take the bike out and explore a little more. You guys have a good day. Jackson, I'll see you in a couple days. Bye-bye.